And so now I'm making the rose hip jam. And I took lychee berries and rose hips, ran them through the Vitamix, added some stevia, vanilla. This time I tried a little bit of banana. It smoothed out the flavors a little bit. I do my best not to add more fruit because I am going to eat this with grains and don't want that combination of fruit and grains together. So here's the power of the Vitamix of taking all of those berries and bananas and within a matter of... In a matter of less than a minute, it's pureed perfectly. And I don't know of uh, too many other machines that can do this kind of work. A regular blender can't puree like a bag mix. So now I take an ice cube tray and I'm going to pour in this to make the rose hip jam so that when I have my amaranth and teff cacao bars and top them with rose hip jam, this is the starting point. So this is the rose hip and lychee berry jam, all in ice cube trays. I'm taking it down to the freezer, freezing it up, storing it in paper bags with plastic on the outside so that the food never touches plastic. I don't want any uh, PCBs near my food. And then I can just take it out a few squares at a time and have it with foods that I love. You could put it on toast if you wanted. I don't use bread products, so I'll put it on my amaranth and teff cacao bars. So there we go. Here's our lychee berry and rose hip jam getting ready to be frozen.